Strike two against the state's voter ID law means more court wrangling and questions for elections officials. A second judge blocked the law permanently today. The night team's Jessica Arp has continuing coverage of the court ruling. Jess. Well, the attorney general says he will quickly appeal the decision that blocks the law and will block the law through the April elections barring that appeal. But the judge's decision throws into question the constitutionality of voter ID. It's a very strong decision, a very well-reasoned decision, and it's really a victory for the voters in Wisconsin. Attorneys for the but League of Women Voters are applauding a decision by Dane County Judge Richard Neese. The judge ruling that the state's voter ID law is unconstitutional and that lawmakers overstepped their authority when writing it, creating a new qualification to vote. The court said in its ruling that it was not ruling that any form of voter ID law would be unconstitutional, but that this law was just because it specifically requires that voters be disqualified if they can't show an ID. Well, obviously I'm very disappointed. But one of the authors of the voter ID measure, Representative Jeff Stone, disagrees and claims the law will stand up in other courts. We think that the law is constitutional under the U.S. Constitution. I think the best thing for the state of Wisconsin is to get the clarity that we have a constitutional law here within our state. But there's a difference between the wording in the two constitutions when it comes to the qualifications to vote. What sets us apart is our unusually strong language in our constitution, which makes the state constitution an important element in this within the state courts which may or may not ultimately uphold the decision. Stone believes the state Supreme Court will back up Wisconsin's law. I think we've got way too many uh, things right now that are bouncing back and forth in our state. I think it's become really a political issue much more than a legal issue. And I'd like to have the law uh, clarified, have, have the hopefully the, the state Supreme Court weigh in and say this is Wisconsin's law. But that, of course, has to get to the Supreme Court first, which would mean it would have to go through an appeals court before it would get there. And there's no telling how long all of that may take. Well, some folks are probably getting some of these cases confused here because a different Dane County judge blocked the law last week. How does this case differ? Well, first of all, this is a permanent, not a temporary injunction, meaning that this judge believes it's unconstitutional and should not be in effect at all. Secondly, that case hinged on the effects of the voter ID law, law while this one deals with constitutional authority. There are all, also two other federal cases that are making their way through court as well. And those, of course, could go, will go through federal courts and would go to the U.S. Supreme Court if it gets that far. All right, Jessica, thanks for helping us keep it straight.